This video will show you how you can create your own SAP CPI trial tenant. Okay, so now we go to this URL and here I already log in with my SAP ID. If you don't have yet, you can register from SAP using your email address your own gmail personal email also can so here you need to choose your tenant which region you want to choose that is closer to you for me the singapore is the closer to me so i choose singapore you can choose us if that is closer to you click account this one will go for take about take a minute i just pause this for a while after about two minutes, this step is done. Click continue. Go to your try account. Then click on this try sub account. Next, uh, we need to subscribe service. Click on service service marketplace and search for integration keyword integration suite this one then click create and create creation in progress view subscription processing and subscribe already next go to application and here we need to add capability click on this button Here you can choose what are the capability that you want. For this try account, I just select all. Next. I also choose a message queue uh, capability. Next. This one, I leave it. Next. And activate. So now this one will take up to 60 minutes so I will pause the video again and resume back when it's uh, all complete. Okay after about about uh, 10 to 15 minutes like that all of this is done already in fact not until 60 minutes. So next we go back to the try home here and next we want to activate another service go to service marketplace again and search for keyword process integration runtime we want to activate the runtime click on it create Select the plan, we choose the integration flow because we want to use for the mainly for the iFlow development. Here I just give it a name iFlow. Uh, prefix RT stands for runtime. RT dash iFlow. Next. This one we can leave it by default so that we can use a basic authentication username and password. In fact, it's a client ID and client secret to call to CPI. Next again, and click create. And 
and view instant yeah and our instant is created already okay so uh, next when we try to go into integration suite and if we try to access here you will, you will see that you are forbidden you don't have sufficient right so we need to add the role to your own user id first to do that go to security go to user by default your own user that use for register the try account will be here click on your user and choose it assign role collection here for the pi cpi purpose activity you can search with this prefix pi underscore and you can search click this tree it's actually sufficient already then assign row collection okay it's assigned already then when you try to come here and ref come here and try to access we can you can come to this IT space to access also you will see you still hit the same error because you need to log out and log in again so I copy this link and I just close everything and open again and then log in Yep, now you can access the CPI. Uh, yep, but before that, we still have one more task we need to do, which is to set up the client ID and client secret. So we go back to HANA trial. and go to instant and subscription click on this instant iflow instant here the service key we click create give it a name so i just call it cpi key or just key one create take some time should be quite fast this one okay created so from here the client id and client secret is the one that you can use to post to or connect to cpi let's say using postman or from any source system yeah client id will be the username secret will be the password okay up to now the setup is complete already so we briefly go through the uh, this four tab here this is the pre-packaged 
iFlow for from SAP for various scenario. This is the place you can create your CPI package and your CPI iFlow and artifact. This monitoring tab will show all the your iFlow. You can monitor your iFlow here, and there are other activity that can be done here, which we can cover in the future section. And these are other CPI feature for transport, can link to the PI ESR repository and other setting okay i will end our section here and we will continue next time thank you for your time see you next time